I will sing you a ditty concerning a doctor who lived in our town by seaman support. He was fairly outwitted and fifty gold guineas was forced to lay down. These jolly back these jolly young tars and their comrades for grog, their money all spent and their credit far gone. From fair ports, fair town to the quayside they have wandered in search for to find a bit of money for fun. Well, the cook of our ship being a one of our number, a bold lad was he and his colour was black. For wit and for wisdom, he always was ready for to think of a way to get cash in the crack. Then up spoke our cook, I've heard people say, A corpse can be sold quite easily here. Come take me a lifetime, he opened me hammock, And sell me to buy all your whiskey and beer. Well, the seamen were quick to accept of his offer, It's a way to the house where the doctor did dwell, And it's into his ear, while the whispers are softly saying, Doctor, we have a fine body to sell. The doctor spoke out like one in amazement. <coughs> Where did you get him? Come tell me, I pray. Come fetch him, come bring him on to me this evening, and fifty golden guineas to you I will pay. Well, the seamen were glad to accept of his offer. It's a way to their ship where they quickly did steer. And uh, now pay attention to what I may mention, and the rest of my story you quickly shall hear. They took the black cook, tied him up in his hammock, but he being a lad, both sturdy and uh, strong, it's under his coat, by the way of protection, he carried a blade about half a yard long. It was around about dusk when the streets were deserted, the seamen struck out with Jack on their back. When they came to the house where the doctor resided, it's in a dark room, they concealed that poor black. And when the doctor had paid down their money, they told him the cookie had died out at sea. And rather than have a dead body to bury, we've sold him to you, sir. He's out of our way. <clears throat> well, the doctor soon went for some tools to dissect him and quickly came down with a saw in his hand. When he came to the room where the body was lying, there boldly Jack stood with his cutlass in hand. Well, the doctor cried out like one in amazement. He thought that the cook was a very rich prize. With a voice <coughs> loud as his thunder, Jack boldly did blunder, saying, Damn your eyes, doctor, I'll skin you alive. Well, the doctor was forced to retreat in a hurry, and of his late bargain was soon to repent. While Jack hurried off where his shipmates were drinking, and the rest of the evening was merrily spent. Hey! <laughs>